Hey there smartphone fans, welcome back to Smartphone Wars. This is me, Stephen Fox, owner and runner of the channel, here to bring you a detailed preview of one of the first budget flagship phones coming this year to the market. What is a budget flagship phone? Well, a budget flagship phone is a fast phone with great cameras, good battery life, that doesn't break the bank, say maybe between $200 and $300. And I have the cheapest one coming out yet and you might have guessed it, it's made by Xiaomi and it's the Redmi Note 5. So without further ado, let me start my Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 detailed preview. First let's start with Redmi Note 5 specs. Yes, you probably have never seen specs like this on a sub $300 phone and some of you might have not even seen specs like this on a sub $400 phone. So yeah, that's what makes the Redmi Note series so lucrative to buy. First of all, you get a 5.99 Full HD plus 18 by 9 display. Then you get the Snapdragon 636, which is essentially a slightly cut down Snapdragon 660. So you get uh, last year's $400 phone's performance on a $200-$250 package. Nothing really beats that when it comes to performance per price point. So here just for a quick comparison, the 227 and Geekbench scores of first the Snapdragon 636 on the Redmi Note 5 and the Snapdragon 625 in the Redmi 5 Plus. So the, there you can see a clear, clear difference in performance. So a huge upgrade in performance for those looking for an extra 3D and CPU horsepower. So the Snapdragon 636 will um, offer a huge upgrade to absolutely be able to play like any game out there, including uh, PUBG for mobiles uh, in very high graphic settings with really good frame rates. And I think this is what you all really wanted. Smooth daily drama performance and great gaming on a sub $300 price. And we move on, 4 gigabytes of RAM, but there's also a 3 gigabyte RAM version. A lot of you may like uh, be spoiled, they say, oh, why not 6 gigabytes of RAM? Well, Xiaomi have said that they will release the 6 gigabyte RAM version, but probably later on it will probably cost a lot more. They want to get the best affordable specs for the price and 4 gigabytes of RAM for me is still more than plenty for the average user and even for the heavy multitasker. Next up, 4000 mAh battery. Now, the Snapdragon 636 inside with that 4000 mAh power battery is definitely should last you around 10 hours plus on like screen on time, but on a heavy charge, like a two, three, even three day usage, heavy use without much gaming or like a day and a half or two with a lot of gaming. So the Redmi Note series uh, retains the 4000 mAh power battery from its processors, which is really, really good. Next on, we'll be moving on to the camera department where actually the biggest upgrades are uh, besides the Snapdragon 636. The next biggest upgrade here is uh, the camera department. The Redmi Note 5 uh, uh, absolutely excels over the Redmi 5 Plus. And the Redmi 5 Plus was a really bad camera phone. It was a decent phone when it came out but lacked uh, in the front camera department mainly. So, Redmi Note 5 cameras. So the main camera is a dual rear camera setup with uh, not uh, two cameras which are used at the same time to produce a better photo. So it's uh, one like really great sensor which is uh, the Samsung sensor built inside and uh, it's an f1.9 aperture. If you're familiar with aperture this means it uh, allows a lot more light in than most phones at this price point because you usually get like an f 2.0 or f2.2 in this price range and what really matters is that it's a 1.4 micron pixel size what this means is again it takes more light by taking in bigger pixels than uh, the sensor that's why it's just a 12 megapixel sensor and not like 16 or 18 megapixel one so in general you will definitely see much improved camera performance uh, uh, especially in low lights compared to redmi 5 plus and the Redmi Note 4X. The front camera has also been upgraded a lot to a 13 megapixel shooter where the Redmi 5 Plus really had just a 5 megapixel one and uh, 
The Redmi Note 5 now comes with a Face ID unlock feature, something that the Redmi 5 Plus does not have, and is like the craze of all phones ever since Apple introduced it. And here's some real shots taken with Redmi Note 5's rear camera, so that you can see the vastly improvements in uh, low light performance in general, detail, sharpness, and uh, less overexposure, more natural colors. But the portrait mode doesn't really look that great because it's done by software and I think the second camera is definitely not used in here. Here I have a Redmi 5 Plus. Here and it's still a very decently built phone but you can definitely tell that the build quality uh, and I always mention that in my reviews is that well for the price the build quality is good uh, uh, but it's not much much improved ever since the original uh, the Redmi Note 4, the Redmi Note 4X. So here are some real shots of the Redmi Note 5 which I took from some of my colleagues from China. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure this is the same body and display from the Redmi 5 Plus I have. Just a slightly different camera configuration, still the rear fingerprint scanner, still the bit cheaper aluminium, but you still get uh, the IR blaster, although you're still stuck with the micro USB port, but you have a headphone jack as a bonus. The Redmi Note 5 does not take uh, a leap forward when it comes to build quality and design over the Redmi 5 Plus because I'm pretty sure it's the same aluminium and the same display in the Redmi Note 5. It's not really bad, uh, but um, all of Chinese phones are offering much better build quality and display at this price. I just want to let you know that. Another area that Xiaomi have uh, failed to improve with the Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus is that uh, um, they're still port rocking the micro USB port, uh, which is not an issue for a lot of people, me included. But I really think that we should be like getting USB Type C. Come on, it's just it, it, it just just put it there, shall we? Just just do it. I mean, it, it's the future. In in a year or two, nobody will use a micro USB on the phones. And if a lot of you are like expecting Xiaomi to introduce NFC. The Redmi Note series, well, they haven't, so I wasn't really expecting that, but I think some of you are, so yeah, it won't have NFC. It will still have that IR blaster to control your AC, to control your TV, it's something really, really cool. Hey, that's Stephen Fox, thank you for watching my Redmi Note 5 details preview, you can watch my other Xiaomi reviews because I've literally covered every Xiaomi phone out there and to look forward to my full Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 hands-on unboxing and full review coming later.